Public Keys In public key cryptography, it is Bob's responsibility to create all keys used for enciphering and deciphering. The key used for enciphering is the public key, which Bob can give to anyone he wants, and anyone can see it. Alice can use this public key to encipher the message which she sends to Bob. Bob can decrypt the ciphertext from Alice using his decrypt key, which he keeps private. Bob knows the ciphertext has not been read by Eve, as he has not shared his private key with anyone. Introduction to Public Keys Alice wants to send Bob a plain text message. Bob creates his own private key and a public key. Bob sends the public key to Alice. Alice can then encrypt her message using the public key. Alice sends the encrypted message to Bob. Bob uses his private key to decrypt the message and he is now able to read the plain text message. Elgamal This is Elgamal. He created a method of encryption based on a process by Diffie-Hellman for the safe distribution of keys. Elgamal Key Distribution Alice wants to send Bob a message. Now. To understand the process of key distribution, this table will be useful. The column headed Alice is only known to Alice. The middle column headed both can be known to both Alice and Bob as well as the public. The column headed Bob is known only to Bob. Alice and Bob publicly agree on a large prime number P and a primitive root G of the prime number. Also, P must be larger the numerical representation of the letters in the message. They use the prime number 29 for P. The primitive root for P is 8, which is used for G. Alice chooses a random number for A that must be less than P. Alice chooses 9. Bob chooses a random number for B that must be less than P. Bob chooses 3. Alice must calculate the capital A, which equals G to the power of A, modular P. This equals 8 to the power of 9, modular 29. So A equals 15. Bob calculates the capital B, which equals G to the power B, modular P. This equals 8 to the power 3, modular 29. So B equals 19. Now, the first two rows of the table do not change throughout the calculations. Now, Alice begins encrypting the letter N. So here, the M represents the numerical representation for the plain text letter N in the message, which is 13. To encrypt N, C equals M times capital B to the power of A, modular 29. So C equals 13 times 19 to the power of 9, modular 29, which equals 27. Now Bob calculates the decryption key. K equals capital A to the power of B, modular P, which is 15 to the power of 3, modular 29. K equals 11, modular 29. This decryption key, K, will be used by Bob to decrypt all the ciphertext from Alice. To decrypt the ciphertext, C equals M times K, modular 29. 27 equals M times 11, modular 29. Bob needs to find out what to multiply 11, modular 29 by to get 27. The figure is 13. To calculate O, here the M represents the numerical representation for the plain text letter O. So M is 14. To encrypt this, C equals M times capital B to the power A, modular 29. So C equals 14 times 19 to the power of 9, modular 29. This equals 9. To decrypt the ciphertext, C equals M times K, modular 29. 9 equals M times 11, modular 29. Bob needs to find what to multiply 11 modular 29 by to get 9. The answer is 14. To calculate W, here the M represents the numerical representation of 
the plain text letter W. So M is 22. To encrypt this, C equals M times capital B to the power A, modular 29. So C equals 22 times 19 to the power of 9, modular 29. This equals 10. To decrypt the ciphertext, C equals M times K, modular 29. 10 equals M times 11, modular 29. Bob needs to find out what to multiply 11, modular 29 by to get 10. The answer is 22.